guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a drugstore haul. I'm so excited. I'm sure they have a ton of new, well I found out that they have a ton of new stuff out and I was just like, oh my gosh. I also feel like I'm having the worst hair day. It's just frizzy, it's a mess, so forgive me. Let's move on. Started. Oh my gosh, before we get started, I do just want to wish you all a happy new year. It's 2017, 2017. Let's all plan on making 2017 amazing together. I'm really excited. As you guys know, I know I won't stop talking about it. I'll never stop talking about it now, but I'm engaged. This year, I'm just so excited. I cannot wait to start planning everything with a loke. Also, fam, make sure you check back on my channel tomorrow, as well as my Snapchat, my Instagram, and my Twitter. If you don't follow me on those accounts, they'll be linked down below and on the little screen here. You guys can check them out. Ow, I just got like a side pain when I moved funny. Ow. Make sure you're following me on those sites because I'm giving away a ton of fun stuff. You're not gonna wanna miss it, I promise. Sorry for pointing at you, I know it's really. If you guys are ready, let's get into it. Oh, by the way, if you like my top, it's from American Eagle. I just bought it last night, actually. It was 60% off. I got it in blue and pink, and it's so cute. I'm trying to, and this is what the top looks like. Isn't it so cute? I just love it. It's really loungy. Super boingy if you wanted it to boing. No one tell Charles gross by fashion terms. I love his channel, I'm obsessed. And if he comes over here and watches me explaining my American Eagle top, saying it's so boingy, he will never watch my channel. But yeah, I really love it. Like I said, just got it on clearance. Anyway, moving on. Necklace is from Forever 21 and this is my engagement ring. Okay, so everything I bought here is from Right Aid. So the first things I see, oh my gosh, I got so much new Physicians Formula. The first thing I bought is the Physicians Formula Eye Primer Duos. Okay, looks like this. So a little eye primer and base here. Looks like you have a matte and a shimmer formula. Oh, that's cool. So the yellow one's more of a matte and the pink is more of a shimmer. And it's part of their whole Insta Ready line for like Instagram, hashtag Insta Ready. When I bought these, I actually thought they were concealers when I was looking at them and I've always loved the Physicians Formula. I mean, who doesn't love Physicians Formula? Everything. They just actually reposted me on their Instagram like a week ago and I was like, ah! Matte, matte. <laughs> Matte matte, isn't that funny? And here they are side by side, look at that. Oh, I like that shimmer one. I actually really do like that shimmer one. Who else loves like a rosy, glossy, metallic, like creamy something that you can just rub all over your lids and do like loads of mascara and just go, be out the door, that's it. And you just get this beautiful glossy eye and your lashes look so good, it's like so great. The next thing also from Physicians Formula and the same Insta Ready line, hashtag Insta Ready. <laughs> Full coverage correcting concealer with a little eggy do. So I wanna try this out. Tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'm filming a whole first impressions drugstore tutorial of all of this stuff. That's why I'm not trying it on right now. I want to have a complete bare face to work on top of. But this looks interesting, okay? You have the little special eggy instant filter technology, it says. Love that it comes with its own little egg. And I got mine in the fair shade because when I was in the store, I thought they looked like they ran a little warmer. But now I'm like, oh, that might be a little light on me. I think I should have probably got this in light and not fair, but that's okay. We win some, we lose some, right? This next thing I'm really excited for, this is the Easy Breezy Brow Shape and Define Brow Gel by CoverGirl Soft Brunette is the shade I got it in. I'm just kinda like, hmm, okay. I can always use a new brow gel. Tell me if I'm the only one. Do you guys do this as well? Is there anybody out there who's just like searching for the perfect drugstore brow gel? Right now I'm using, where is it? I just put it on. When I'm not using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel, which is, you know, just hands down the best. I've been using my Maybelline Drama, the brow drama, and I do really like this, you guys. The brush, I was kind of, um, not that it's a bad brush, or it just kind of seemed like, what's the point to me? Why wouldn't you just make it a thin brush? But not on like Anastasia Beverly Hills level, but it does the job. The next thing, so I guess I'll just stick with Physicians Formula and then jump into the next brand. I think this looks so fancy. What do you guys think? Like, I think this looks really, really nice. I would buy this from, you know, it almost looks a little Estee Lottery to me. I don't know, but I really like it. Anyway, this is the Physicians Formula Highlight and Contour Palette. I don't recall seeing how many shades this came in. Um, I got it in the shade Matte Sculpting, so maybe there's a matte one and a shimmery one. It looks like it comes with a little brush. Always love when they give you these diagrams and stuff. I'm gonna peek at it. I'm gonna peek at it. I'm gonna peek at it. We're gonna peek at it. I'm not gonna use it, but I'm gonna peek at it. Or it almost reminds me of like a little hourglassy. Obviously not the same packaging, I'm just saying. It kind of reminds me of hourglass. I don't know why. I don't know what I mean. So you open it up. Looks like this. And then I think there's a brush in here too. I bet it's in this little underbelly and little undercarriage there. 
Oh yeah. Oh, and look at that mirror. Mm. This looks like a nice little contouring brush from the drugstore. I said I was gonna try it. I know, I know. I said I was gonna try it, but I'm like really, really intrigued. Huh. I don't know. I need to try this out tomorrow in full effect on a bare face, but I think to me it looks like it's gonna be nice. I probably just made my face so mucky, so sorry if I did. Um, I'm really excited to try this though tomorrow on a completely bare face. Really get in there. Shimmer one. I completely forgot I picked up the other formula. It's very highlighter-y, as you can tell. It looks very shimmery. Ugh, I'm so excited to play with these. I imagine these were not cheap, too. They have a nice weight to them, and I think they look pretty decent. The next two things I love so much. I've never even tried these yet. I don't know how they work. They might be god-awful, and I don't have a single clue, but did they do this for me? Me and my butters? Butter blushes! these and I almost passed out. We like to call our little fam here at the Shea Butter Fam because, you know, hello, what's better than butter? Since I kind of have this, you know, this like thing with my butter babes and we love the word butter and we love butter. Butter! Butter, 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 butter. Butter blushes. Maru, maru. Oh, maru, maru. Oh, really? Yeah. Maru, maru butter blush. And it delivers a radiant Brazilian glow. That is amazing, I'm so excited. So I got it in the shade Plum Rose and I got it in the shade Natural Glow. So yeah, I am super jazzed. I also picked up a ton of new drugstore eyeshadow palettes that I'm really stoked about, you guys. So the first one here, this is the Mag Magnify Eyes? Yep, Magnify Eyeshadow Palette from Rimmel London, and they look like this. I'm a huge fan of Rimmel London. A, because they always use girls who have a gap tooth. It started with my babe, Kate Moss. She used to be my idol. I loved these models, these girls with these gap teeth, and it's what made me always want to keep my gap tooth was actually like Rimmel commercials and things. Now it almost drives me crazy because a really common thing on my channel, like a common thing for haters to say or for people just trying to be cheeky on my channel is, oh, she's got the London look, but not in a nice way. They say it kind of meanly sometimes. And sometimes they talk about like what they would put in between my teeth. Spoiler, it's always a d so anyway, I really love Rimmel. They've always really inspired me because I love their whole get the London look thing and they always use girls with gap teeth, so I don't know. Just kind of like, you know, I'm in the mood this new year to just do a ton of new stuff. Use some new stuff, create some new looks with some new makeups so we can have new throwbacks. Wouldn't that be nice, you guys? So this first one here, this is called London Nudes Calling. Obviously a lot more nude. This one here is called Grunge Glamour. And then this last one here is called Keep Calm and Wear Gold. Oh, I was expecting it to like rhyme or something and it didn't. So when I said keep calm and wear gold, I was like, okay. I don't know, they look, mm, I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge with these, I'm not sure. I haven't tested them, I haven't tried them. I might wanna do live swatching videos on these too. Do you guys want live swatching videos of drugstore palettes? Would that be silly? Let me know. I love the new year because it's like, just think of all the new stuff that's gonna come out this year. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. All the new collabs, all the new collections. Excited. The other two palettes here. Okay, so this one is by Maybelline. Oh, I saw this, I was like, this is really pretty. Oh no, it's broken. I just realized mine is broken. Drats, I'm gonna have to <laughs> do nothing about it. I'm gonna do nothing about it because I'm lazy as all hell. This is the 24 karat nudes by Maybelline. I was like, oh god. Vogue, Vogue. Look at me voguing my nudes palette. Vogue, Vogue, Vogue. I was like, this looks pretty Maybelline. I can get behind this. I thought this looked different. It looks new. It looks exciting. It looks pretty. And I'm hoping that they're only getting better on their formulas. Let me know again what you want me to do with this tutorial, a whole video on it. And then you guys, is this new or am I crazy? I saw these, it says new, so I'm stupid. I just thought these looked like they could be the most beautiful drugstore shadows. Could you guys imagine if these all turn out to be like just amazing glitter top coats, just these amazing shimmery shadows. Jewels, okay. Pat McGrath? Look designed by Pat McGrath? Holy hell, I didn't realize this was a thing. Did you guys have any idea that Pat McGrath was like working on these CoverGirl eyeshadow palettes? I have to go back and get the other shades. Are there more shades? Very cool. If you guys are kind of a dork like me and you like need limited edition stuff, maybe pick this up. I thought this was like meh when I picked it up, but I'm actually now like most excited for it. Oh, I thought these look cool. These are by Revlon. 
Well, not cool. Well, this is kind of cool. What does this do? Got these from Revlon, and they just look like really cool little cream shadows, I thought. And then one thing I thought was funny is this side here. I'm not sure what that's all about. Oh, it says built-in brush included, so I bet it's something like that. I bet you're gonna pull that out, and it's gonna be a little little brushy brush. I have the hiccups. I'm, like, trying to fight so bad. I always get the hiccups. What is it? Oh, yeah, you pull it. Okay, see me pulling it? Oh! Do you guys see this situation? It's like the world's smallest brush ever. In an eyeshadow. In an eyeshadow. In an eyeshadow! You guys know I was obsessed. Obsessed, obsessed. Still am with the Maybelline color tattoos. Love, love, love. Like anytime a brand comes out with cream shadows, I'm just all about it. So the shade here, this shade here is called 720 Chocolate. Doesn't smell like chocolate, but looks beautiful. Doesn't that look beautiful? I don't think it's much of a chocolate color, but um, definitely beautiful. I'm excited to put that on my freaking eyelid. The other shade is Espresso, which again, in my opinion, they're not very, it's not very Espresso. I think it looks more of like a beige. They're more like beigey. I think they look a little more beige than brown, in my opinion. We have to try it on the eyes though, I don't know. But this is Maybelline. Um, Dream Brightening Concealer in the shade 10 Fair. Again, I don't know why I always buy fair. I don't know, I just thought it was really, really cool. So you can use it, you know, under the eyes, all the highlight areas, but I thought it was pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to try this. I hope it's not too light on me. I might have to wait till my self-tanner washes off a bit. Oh, these I'm so excited about because I just saw What Would Lizzie Do? Um, I just saw her upload her video literally a few hours ago. This is the Maybelline Baby Lips Crayon balm thingy. I don't really know. It's like a tinted lip or something. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, kind of like a... Oh, dang. I'm mad I have such a dark lip on today. Almost like a Clinique, you know, lip crayon or like a Tarte lip crayon. But that shade is pretty. Oh, and it smells nice too. What do you guys think of that? I think it looks like a real nice pink. Oh, I'm excited for these. They look really cute, don't they? Oh, and I missed this cream eyeshadow. This also came with my Revlons. Well, I bought this one as well in the shade Creme Brulee. It looks like it's maybe a little bit more of like a shimmery one, so, but just like a creamy color. The last two things from Revlon I wanted to show you are the Revlon Insta Blush. Wow, everything is all Insta right now, isn't it? Like Insta Ready, Insta Blush. So I guess brands right now are all marketing like Instagram fast makeup, right? Makeup that you can put on as fast as an Instagram video. I don't know. <laughs> That's just what I'm imagining their concepts are when they're in like the developing room thinking like Insta, Instagram, Insta, instant, Insta. I don't know. These are the Revlon Insta blushes in the shade 300 Rose Gold Kiss and 320 Berry Kiss. I think both of those sound and look lovely. I think I would love these as cheek colors, lip colors. Again, not gonna put them on now, but I'm excited because I always, every summer, I'm always like, oh my gosh, I really want to invest in those NARS multiples or whatever they're called, or the NARS blush sticks and everything. I always think they're gonna be like my answer for the summer, but I never actually end up wanting to spend the money on them unless they come out in a kit, and that's where I've picked them up when it had like a, there was like a NARS kit out or something and I got one. I thought these might be a close dupe, and if, even if not a dupe. They're just kind of the same situation of just blush on a stick that I can just, you know, take with me and use easily. And maybe not even take with me because, like, my, my stuff melts in my beach bag all the time. I don't, I don't even know where I'm going with that. It makes no sense. It doesn't even need to be here. But I'm excited for these. I am. <laughs> this is just, like, a really pretty nice fall color, don't you think? And this is, like, like holiday, summer. Holiday, summer. Holiday, summer. You have both. Lastly, you guys, I'm going to show you, um, let's see. I have, like, three Wet n Wild things and then I have one thing from L.A. Colors. So yeah, from LA Colors, this is a lipstick in the shade In Love. Oh, and I just thought it was super pretty. It's kind of like that tone that I love. I love this kind of berry. I think it just kind of looks like a nice mauve you know, deep mauve berry situation. I'm pretty excited. I really like it. Then from Wet n Wild, I saw this and I was like, oh yeah, that looks beautiful. This is a loose pigment in the shade Heart of Rose Gold. Here, isn't that stunning? Again, I got these all at Rite Aid. And I've just never seen a pigment this big from Wet n Wild, but maybe I had missed them. Maybe I'm just unfamiliar. But when I saw this, I was like, hmm, is this new? I like it. I got three new nail polishes, and I thought these looked just beautiful, and I could work them in to my winter nail routine at some point, right? I just thought that these looked so pretty. Take a close look there. Aren't they just gorgeous? The top two here are kind of like, they're polished with some glitter, and then the bottom is just like glitter overlay type polish. This top one is called, oh, they're limited edition too, you guys. So here is Ninja Lovelace. Isn't that pretty? 
think it's such a pretty shade. It reminds me of an old Butter London shade I used to love called, I don't remember. And then this next one, oh, love, reminds me of Cinderella. And it is called, oh, I Dream of Genie. So that's really funny. So here is I Dream of Genie. Which is cute. It's kind of like a genie, like a jeans blue with gold glitter in it. You know, it's a cute name. It's a cute name. And then the last one, it's like it's just a glitter top coat, like I told you guys. But it looked like it just had every color in the world in it, so I was really pumped to see what it looks like on everything else. And this is called Are You Free to Dance? And it looks just plain blue, I think, in the packaging from what it looks like on the camera right now, just like a blue. But it's actually like a blue, yellow, gray. You guys know that duochrome type of glitter. That is really pretty, and they're limited edition. And I love how big the Wet n Wild nail polish jars are. I love the brushes. They have the Pro Brush. Yeah, manicure pro brush. So yeah, you guys, that was it for my drugstore haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you'd like to see videos on next, but I'm obviously gonna make a video on everything, so don't like worry too much about that. But let me know, of course, what you wanna see more than anything. Like what product really stood out to you in this haul that you're like, Shay, girl, I need to know what the deal is right now before I go out and buy it. Tell me, tell me, tell me, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below what item that is for you so I can do that. I love you guys, I hope you had the best, happiest, safest, and funnest New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and of course, carry that on into the week. Have a happy and safe and healthy and fun week. I love you all, and I'm so excited for our next year together. I think it's gonna be one of the funnest years yet here on my channel. And yeah, I'm just really pumped. All the products that I mentioned will be listed in the bottom box down below. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.